With Bill Koss, I'm Mick Hubert here at AT&T Stadium, the site of the Final Four, as the Gators go through their public workout before the Saturday night Final Four semifinal game, the Gators and the Yukon Huskies. And Bill, what a great environment, and the Gators have a chance and a little revenge at UConn beat them earlier in the year. Well, obviously it's an incredible accomplishment to get to the Final Four and then to have an opportunity to play a team you've already played once this year. There really is a matchup that the Gators understand and they're well prepared to play. And if they're fortunate enough to win that game, possibly another rematch against Wisconsin. Isn't it ideal the Gators could possibly beat every team on their schedule this year? You know, Mick, I think it's really an incredible storyline and certainly you can't look ahead to Wisconsin, Kentucky and how the outcome and that'll take place. But for Florida to have a chance to get revenge against the only two teams that have beaten them, that would be a great storyline. And then, Bill, on the other hand, should Florida win on Saturday and play Kentucky, they'd have to beat them four times in one year. And that's the cruelty of the tournament, Bill, because if they win three out of four, Kentucky holds the national championship trophy. You know, Mick, I think for all of us as fans and the people that look at all this, they talk about playing the same team four times. But for the kids, the players that are going to make it happen, to them it's just a game and they're ready for the competition. And I don't think what's taken place in the past will influence how they feel about going after Kentucky if that should take place. The Gators come into this Final Four as the top national seed and favored to win the NCAA tournament. A record of 36 and 2, 30 consecutive victories. Florida and UConn coming up on Saturday. We'll have our Gators IMG radio pregame broadcast beginning at 5:25 Eastern Time. For Bill Koss, I'm Mick Hubert at the Final Four on GatorZone.com.